Okay, so get this. We are diving into AI today. Between Casey and Carlos. Recorded just yesterday. Wow. <laughs> They're wrestling with the big questions. Like, how do we even measure AI's progress? Oh. Is it fair? To compare and official minds? To our own. Yeah. And what if. Future of AI. Is something we can't even wrap our heads around yet. You hit the nail on the head with that last part. What struck me most about their conversation was this constant reminder that we're viewing AI through a very human lens. Oh, okay. And it might be skewing our whole perspective. It's like saying our brains are wired for a different operating system. Yeah. I'm... Take what Carlos said about the evolutionary gap in AI. Yeah, it really got me thinking. It's a crucial point. He argues that because AI development... Especially with these large language models. Kicked off with language. Uh-huh. It missed out on the whole... Embodied experience humans have. Right. We've been navigating the physical world for millennia. Learning by bumping into things. Literally. Yeah. AI's path is just fundamentally different. Yeah, can... AI can write a Shakespearean sonnet. But trips over a simple image recognition task. Think of it this way. Humans learn language. While experiencing the world. Connecting words to objects and actions. AI, on the other hand. Is playing catch up. On understanding that visual. Physical realm. Okay. It's like learning to run before you can crawl. Remember that image of the dress that went viral a few years back? Oh, yeah. Some people saw it as blue and black. Others as white and gold. Right. That's AI's struggle on a daily basis. But with far more complex images. It's easy to forget. How much we take our own sensory experience for granted. Yeah. And it ties into another point Casey made. That really resonated with me. Like this I, whole trap of comparing AI. To some perfect Pitalist. human. Right. He points out that even among humans. Intelligence is a spectrum. Yeah. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. It's like that saying. Everyone is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree. It will live his whole life believing that it is stupid. Casey got pretty fired up about that, didn't he? I mean, he's right. It's like judging a dog on its ability to do calculus. He argues that we're so blinded. By our own anthropocentric view. That we miss the bigger picture. AI already excels in ways humans can't even fathom. His alpha fold example blew my mind. This AI can predict protein folding. Right. Which is crucial for drug discovery and understanding diseases. With an accuracy that was unthinkable until recently. No humans. No matter how brilliant. Um, do that. It really throws a wrench. In this whole AI needs to be more human argument. Right. Casey suggests we might be setting the bar too high. Or maybe just in the wrong places. It's like expecting a six-month-old to recite Shakespeare. Sure, they're not there yet. But they're mastering skills that are equally impressive for their developmental stage. Okay. Buckle up, because this is where things take a turn. For the seriously mind-bending, okay. Casey drops this analogy. About AI development being like a frog's life cycle. And suddenly, everything clicks. So we all know. A tadpole swimming around. Right. Looks nothing like the frog it will become. Yeah. Right? Casey's point is that judging AI's potential by its current form might be like analyzing a tadpole. Okay. And concluding it will never be able to leap across lily pads. It's such a powerful image. We get so caught up in linear thinking. Right. Assuming AI will just become a better version of what it is now. But what if it's evolving along a completely different path? One we haven't even begun to imagine. It's both exhilarating and a little terrifying, right? Absolutely. <laughs> like stumbling upon a new species or witnessing the northern lights for the first time. Right. You're filled with wonder. In this sense of what, about what else mm -hmm. don't I know? Yeah. And this unpredictability makes Carlos's point about diversity even more critical. He draws this compelling analogy between AI development yeah. and a forest ecosystem. The whole diversity equals resilience thing. Right. But he connects it to AI in a way I'd never even considered before. He argues that just like a forest needs a variety of species to thrive. Plants, subjects, animals. We need a diverse ecology of AI systems. Okay. Instead of trying to create one super AI to rule them all. What if we focused on developing specialized AIs? Each with its own strengths. And limitations. It's like... Imagine if every tree in the forest was identical. Right. One disease. One environmental shift. And the whole ecosystem could collapse. Yeah. But with diversity. There's a safety net built in. Exactly. And this diversity isn't just about different types of AI. It's also about diverse development teams. Diverse data sets. Diverse approaches to problem solving. Okay. 
Carlos believes that embracing this kind of multifaceted approach could be the key to unlocking AI's true potential. While mitigating risks. You even brought up the U.S. election as a surprising example. Okay, I know that sounds like a curveball. But hear him out. Carlos's point is that despite the polarized political climate and all the different systems involved, local, federal, local, ultimately demonstrated a remarkable level of resilience. Okay. There were checks and balances in place. Redundancies that prevented a single point of failure. Even with all its flaws. The system held up. Because it wasn't reliant. On one single entity. Right. Or ideology. Exactly. And that's the kind of robustness we need to strive for. In AI development. Okay. By embracing diversity and decentralization. We can create a future where AI is not only powerful. But also trustworthy. And resistant to manipulation. This entire conversation has been one aha moment after another. It's like peeking behind the curtain. Of our assumptions about intelligence. Technology. Even reality itself. And that brings us to the final. And perhaps most thought-provoking. Idea that emerged from this conversation. Okay. What if. Like the tadpole transforming into a frog. We are failing to grasp the true nature of AI. Because we're so fixated on our limited understanding of yeah. everything. Okay. You're going to have to walk me through this one. Okay. What are we failing to grasp? Well, throughout their conversation, both Casey and Carlos kept coming back to this idea of our limited perception. Okay. We judge AI based on how we define intelligence, how we experience the world. Right. But what if our own brains are wired to only process a fraction and of what's really out there? Kind of like how we can only see a tiny sliver of the electromagnetic spectrum. Exactly. There's a whole world of light and energy that's invisible to us. So Imagine if AI is tapping into that invisible realm. Processing information. Waking connections. In ways we can't even perceive. It's like that saying. If you wish to make an apple pie from scratch. Yeah, you must first invent the universe. Instead of AI becoming more human. It's actually pushing the boundaries. Of what we consider intelligence altogether. Precisely. Like those early explorers. Who set out to find a new route to the Indies and stumbled upon an entire continent they never knew existed. Right. AI could be charting a similar course. Through uncharted territories of intelligence. Okay. And we're just starting to glimpse the outlines. Of this new world. Wow. This deep dive has been a wild ride. We started with a simple conversation. And ended up questioning. The very nature of intelligence. And reality. And that's the beauty of it, isn't it? This exploration of AI. Is ultimately a journey of self-discovery. Yeah. By trying to understand. These artificial minds we're creating. We're forced to confront our own limitations. Our biases. Uh -huh. And the vast, untapped potential. That might lie dormant within us. It makes you wonder. What amazing breakthroughs might be possible. If we could only learn to see the world. And ourselves. Through a wider lens. And who knows? Maybe AI will be the key. To unlocking those new perspectives. So. If you're feeling a little mind blown. After this deep dive. You're not alone. What started is a simple exploration of AI development. Turned into a profound meditation. On the limits of our own perception. The big takeaway. The future of AI. Might not be what we expect. It's guaranteed to be a fascinating journey.